The House of Representatives Committee on Public Assets and uh, Special Duties on Tuesday queried the Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Mohamed Ali Pati, over the ministry's public-private partnership program and concession agreement aimed at improving health care in the country. The committee also probed the Biovaccines Nigeria Limited, which is a joint venture between the federal government and May and Baker in 20 or 2007 and other, and other partnerships by the ministry. Deputy Chairman of the Committee, Honorable Dabo Haruna, directed that the Minister must submit relevant documents, including evidence of advertisements of these PPPs, concessions, lease, expressions of interest on these leases, as well as specific achievements recorded by the Ministry in the period under reference. The Committee Chairman, Honorable Ademorin Kuye, who later joined the hearing, said the Minister should provide the documents supporting the Ministry's 10 billion Naira equity contribution. The minister was also directed to provide relevant documents over the lease of land to May and Baker in Lagos. He also is to tender a document for transfer of shares to the Minister of Finance, Incorporated, uh, Morphy. We are not after any individual or particular agencies, but they must come to answer to the Parliament. If there have been uh, lackadaisical in handling other committees, this is a different committee. We will take it a little easy because today is the first day of the hearing. By tomorrow, I don't think that uh, we will be this lax in dealing with people that we have invited over time. This process started since June and there is no organization so summoned that I have not received in the minimum, three letters from this committee. I commend the committee for its commitment to overseeing the sector and ensuring that the investment may serve the public interest. Since 2015, Nigeria has attracted billions of dollars in grants and investment into renewable uh, energy. These funds were intended to revolutionize our energy infrastructure, reduce our dependency on fossil fuel, and untimely address, uh, address our pressing electricity challenges. However, despite this considerable investment, Access to stable and reliable electricity remain a struggle for many or all Nigerians. Our goal is to better understand how the parliament can support the renewable energy sector in a way that drives real measurable change. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.